Hey guys, it's Shayna and today is Tasty Tuesday. Today we're gonna be making watermelon sherbet and we're gonna be making watermelon strawberry lemonade slushy. What? So let's kick this thing off by gathering up our supplies. Of course you're gonna need a seedless watermelon, half a cup of sugar, half a cup of water, two tablespoons of lemon juice, and your cutting utensil. In a medium-sized pot, we're gonna dissolve our sugar and our water and make this little syrup situation. You'll wanna stand pretty close to your stove for this and continuously move that sugar around because you don't want it to burn or stick to the bottom of the pan. And once it starts boiling, we're gonna add the two tablespoons of lemon juice to that mixture, take it off the heat, and let it chill out on the back burner. So now we're gonna cut up this watermelon. I'm gonna cut this thing in half and make a couple of different things out of this. I'm gonna start by cubing up my watermelon. I personally kind of do a little checker design where we go do vertical and horizontal lines and then cut around the edge. Then we're gonna make two or three incisions on the side and move that knife around a little bit so that it can cube and flip it upside down. What do you get? Cubed watermelon. So for the sherbet, we're gonna take about four cups of this cubed watermelon, and I'm gonna break it down into two cups each and puree them separately so that my blender does not self-destruct on me. So once I get that first batch pureed, I'm gonna pour it into a saran wrapped lined pan. Then I'm gonna go ahead and puree the second batch, pour it in, pour in our sugar water lemon mixture, and kind of move that around so that it can evenly distribute that flavor. Then go ahead and put it in the freezer. Now I'm gonna move on to the slushies. So what I'm gonna do is cut that second half of watermelon in half and I'm gonna cube out that watermelon and we're gonna put two containers of this to the side so that we can have some snacks. So for the slushie, you're gonna need half a cup of sugar, half a cup of lemon juice, about a cup and a half of strawberries, a whole heap of ice, and four to six cups of watermelon, depending on how much you're making. So now we're gonna pour our sugar and lemon juice into the pan and mix it all together. You already know the deal. You wanna keep it moving so that the sugar doesn't burn. Once it starts to boil, we're gonna remove it from the heat. Now I'm gonna put my ice, all the strawberries, and about a cup of watermelon into the blender, and I'm gonna crush that ice up. Then I'm gonna add half of my lemon sugar syrup to that mixture, so it makes it easier for the blades to puree it in the blender. And I'm also gonna scoop up that ice from the bottom, and of course, we're gonna puree it again. So once we get that batch pureed, I'm gonna set that to the side and keep about a cup of the liquid that's already in the blender there. Then I'm gonna add the remainder of my watermelon and puree that up again. So once it's all slushified, you can actually serve it as is because we put the ice in it. Or if you want it to get even more slushified, you can go ahead and put it in the freezer. And of course, whatever you have left over, you gotta make some popsicles. So remember, if you're making the sherbet or the popsicles, you wanna freeze that for at least four hours. For the slushy, you only wanna keep it in there for about 30 minutes to an hour. It's the next day, and I'm gonna pull that stuff out of the freezer so that it can thaw out a little bit. And I let it sit out for about an hour to an hour and a half. Since my slushy mix was still pretty solid, I put it back in the blender and, of course, pureed it again. And it came out perfectly, darling. Now we're gonna move to our sherbet. 
You don't want your sherbet to melt too much because then it'll turn into a slushy. Put it into your blender and puree it again. It should be a pretty thick consistency. So when you put a spoon in there and turn it upside down, the sherbet mix should not fall off. I broke it down into four individual servings and put them in these half pint mason jars. Alright guys, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share it. Don't forget to join me again next week for Tasty Tuesday. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye!